Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to A Stronger Mind. I'm Jakob Carlson and I just started a new chapter today in this video that is called Ending Depression. Topic of the first video is going to be Suicidal Thoughts. In my last chapter, I talked about social anxiety that is now closed. Uh, I am starting this new series and I'll be making uh, several videos and in each video I talk about a topic, a very important point for me in order to end depression in my own life. And the point of this is that you can watch these episodes and uh, use the principles, hopefully understand some more about the issue and at the end of the day have some ease or uh, obviously the best is if you can end your depression yourself. Why did I choose to start talking about suicidal thoughts today? Well, I did have suicidal thoughts for years, never uh, attempted suicide, but when I had the suicidal thoughts, I felt a lot of shame around it as if I couldn't share it with someone because it was such a terrible thing. Uh, and I highly doubt I'm the only one who felt that way. Uh, if you've ever had suicidal thoughts uh, that you don't want to share this with anyone, which is fine, I felt the same way. Uh, it turns out it's a pretty common thing to have a suicidal thought, uh, but having it for a longer period of time, I found to be uh, very unhelpful and it certainly did not uh, make depression better. I also found that suicidal thoughts came more so later on as the depression got worse. Uh, as of today, I don't have a lot of suicidal thoughts. Uh, I actually haven't had it in years and I'm not depressed. So I find there to be some kind of connection here. How does our thoughts work? Uh, what's happening in our mind. I just want to share this real quick because we do have uh, two ways we can uh, categorize our thoughts. That is, we have the spontaneous thoughts that just pops in our head. Uh, that could be something like, oh, an attractive person. That's a really nice car or uh, something like that. Or, wow, this food is good. Uh, but it can also be something like, crap, I'm so useless. Or wow, what a failure, or I should end my life. This is, life is hopeless, right? That's spontaneous thoughts that just pop in your head. What we have control over ourselves, because these are more coming from a deeper place. That is, if you're, for whatever reason, you find a person attractive and the thought comes to your head, you can't really do too much about it. What you can do something about that is, the investment in the thought. So let's say you have a thought that says, wow, what a nice car. Now you can either choose to engage in that thought of, wow, yeah, that is a nice car. I wonder what it cost, uh, those rims, whatever. Uh, I've seen this color before. Wow, that's something like my neighbor had. I should buy it. They go home and you decide to make a purchase of the car. So now you have engaged in the thought. Same thing with suicidal thoughts. You can have a moment where the thought comes to your mind that is, crap, life is hopeless, life is useless, I'm a failure, whatever. You can now choose to engage in the thought that is, yes, I am such a failure. Whoa, yeah, that is true. Uh, I failed in all my jobs or whatever. I failed in all my relationships. Uh, Actually, life is just getting worse. Actually, uh, maybe ending my life is the best option. Well, I wonder how, I wonder what. Now you're engaging in it. That's the process that you can control. You can choose to engage in the thought or you can choose to not engage in the thought. And ultimately it does come down to self-control and it's something that I'm pretty passionate about that is actually exercising mental self-control. Uh, for example, 
sugar is a thing that is highly addictive um, and I choose to not eat sugar as much as I can avoid it unless I uh, plan that I'm gonna have some cake today or whatever it's just something I found helpful the same thing with exercising self-control in the way we think that is the impulsive thought of I want sugar I want a coke okay then I go buy a coke but now I've given into an impulsive thought and the same principle can be used with suicidal thoughts that is I have a negative thought something unhelpful this is not what I really want to do I'm gonna to choose to disengage in that thought and it takes some practice but I find it to be good to just be aware of it that is the spontaneous thought that pops in our mind we don't have to engage in it we can exercise mental self-control and uh, choose to engage in something else that was the first video in ending depression uh, suicidal thoughts if you have suicidal thoughts if you are contemplating taking your own life please reach out to a professional call an emergency number there are people ready to talk to you on the phone uh, I'll link some numbers in the description below that you can call I just want to take away some of the shame and give you some tools and help uh, make some sense to this issue that you might be experiencing and to provide help for those that need it I'll be making more videos you can subscribe to this channel like the video so more people can see it if anyone you know struggle with this please let them uh, see this video and hopefully they can get some help too so again Jakob Carlson from a stronger mind uh, have a nice day and talk to you guys soon